Hi everyone, Mr. Brandt here for a drawing of the day. Now, it kind of looks a little different because I have a black background, that's why you can see the lights kind of shining on it, but that's important because today we're going to do a huge drawing. And so what I want you to start with is your paper, and I want you to be able to see the edges today. And we're going to do a really cute, big, I call it kind of an abstract Picasso puppy. And so, but what's really cool is you can do all kinds of designs in it. What we're going to start with is we're going to draw and use all the way to the edges of the paper. So I want to start right about here. This is the middle and this is the bottom. I want to go about halfway. So right about here, I'm going to draw a line. This is going to be the cute little puppy nose. So I'm going to draw a nice big curve like so. And then I'm going to come in and make a bump, in and make a bump, and then I'm going to put it down and down. And you can see I still have room for the mouth and things at the bottom, and I have room for everything else up top. Okay, now I'm going to curl it in because this is going to be kind of an abstract puppy. So I'm going to curl it in for his little nostrils, like so. Okay, I'm going to draw a line down the middle. If you've noticed, if you have a puppy that is there. Now I'm going to draw a little line coming down like so. And then this next part, I want to go ahead and draw up above the first eye. So we're going to make these huge. Actually, you know what? We're going to go to the nose first. And what I want to do is I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to come out. And when I get around here, I'm going to start curving in, and I want it to go really close like so, okay? And then on this side, I want to get kind of close. I don't want a lot of room in here. So on this side, I'm going to come out and around. Remember, this is an abstract, so any way you draw it is absolutely perfect. And there we go. Now we have the big, long puppy nose. Next, I'm going to do his little bottom part of the mouth, the chin, coming here. You could make this a tongue if you would rather do that. Now, my favorite part of this drawing, we're going to do some huge eyes and that almost go right off the page. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw as big of an eye as I can. Just absolutely cute. So I'm going to draw on this side and I'm going to draw a huge eye around like that. So we have two humongous eyes, which I just love. Now at the bottom, we're going to draw the bottom eyelid, which is just a little sliver of the line right here, just like so. Okay. Now on the top, we're going to do this top eyelid. So we're going to start right here. We're going to come in and then I'm going to draw up and around kind of like he's got some fur out here, like so. Come in and then come up and around. And this one is going to kind of go off the page. So I might have a little room for some zigzags, but that's okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go up here and draw the top of the head where I'm just going to go from one eyebrow or eyelid to the other, like so. And then... Down here, we're going to draw his little face, which is going to come to the chin. And I want to start right about where this ends here. And then I'm just going to make as fluffy as you want to make it. And I'm going to start on this side, as fluffy as you want to make it. Like so. Very cute. And then we're going to draw his little neck coming down, and his little neck coming down, like so. And then we're going to have his ears. Now, the ears are definitely going to go off the page. So I'm going to draw like this, and it's coming to the edge. And then I'm going to come down and draw the bottom of his ears like that. And then on this side, I'm going to pretend that his ears start right here. We'll start up here first, and we'll draw the top of his ears. And then the bottom of his ears actually touching there. So there's one ear, there's the other, and it's going off the page. Yours may be a lot different than that. That's perfectly fine. 
Next, we're going to draw his iris and his pupil. So we're going to come back in here and we're going to draw a big iris like this, touching the top, and a big iris like this, touching the top, like so. Now we're going to go in. Now I don't want to do his pupil way down. I want to do it up a little higher. So I'm going to do a pupil like this. And I'm going to add two little highlights in there. And actually, I'm going to color that in. Now probably the coolest thing about this drawing and why I wanted to do this artwork is how you put the designs in. We're not just coloring it like a real puppy or a dog. We're going to put all kinds of cool designs in. So there's one, and then I'm going to go there, and you can kind of see what I'm doing there, okay, and so forth. There's my two little cute things. I'm actually going to make the outside of his iris, which a lot of times if you look at your own eyeball, there's a dark band right around the iris there, so just that little U shape I'm going to make a little bit wider and darker. Awesome! Now we have the drawing part of our abstract puppy done, but what's really cool is how we're going to add color to it and how we're going to do designs. And I want you to come up with some really cool designs. And um, in the next part here, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Okay, now we're going to add color to it. And the thing I love about this is I want you to have some fun with it. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, but we're going to do designs. And I want to show you what I mean by that. Um, I'm going to start maybe in the eye, and I'm going to do some shading or doing kind of a gradient. So I want to do... I'm going to start with the blue color pencil, and you can see how I'm going. Remember how we shade is to go press really hard to get your dark value, and then I'm going to come back and lighten up my pressure. Okay, so And it's okay if I have those little lines kind of showing, because in an eye you kind of have that. Okay, so I'm kind of going here. And then I'm going to go on this side, and at the top, under the eyebrow, or under the eyelid, you're going to be a little darker because it's kind of covering it. So that's why I'm going darker there. But remember, you're the artist. You can, you can do your shading. Sometimes artists do it on purpose just to see if people are really paying attention. Now I might take my lighter blue and do some darker lines, some darker shade, whatever I want to do. I can take my white color pencil, I can even make it different colors. So now I have my beautiful blue eyes. Now, to do designs, I was telling you I want you to do designs. So what I might do is I'm going to pick a color. So I might pick, let's say I'm going to do orange. And remember, this can be any colors you want. And maybe I'm going to do a design. So I'm going to do a little dot little lines coming out. And I'm going to fill this eyebrow angle with dots with my marker. And you can do the same kind of color. You can do different colors. Totally up to you. But I want you to just come up with some really awesome designs. Just let your imagination go. Come up with, how could I make this really creative work? Somebody else may never come up with that idea, or they may see it and go, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, and sometimes your designs don't always come out, and that's okay. That's how artists get better, is by making mistakes and saying, that's awesome. As Bob Ross said, um, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Now, I'm going to take a crayon now, and just lightly, so I can still see my designs, I'm going to lightly color over my designs that I did. What's also kind of cool 
But you can do gradient and do some shading here where you go dark, press hard, press harder on one side, and then lighten up with the pressure, just like so. Make that kind of even another dimension to your drawing. And you can see, now I'll probably do the same thing on this side, but for right now, I'm not gonna do that. And then my next part, maybe I say, okay, now I'm gonna go in and do maybe something here. So maybe on this, I'm gonna take my blue marker and do blue stripes like this, like so. Maybe that's what the design is that I wanna do in this area. But I, I don't want you to copy mine. I'm not gonna do a ton. I'm gonna let you come up with, don't forget, you wanna do the background, you wanna do everything. And so maybe I do that, and this time I could take pencil and maybe in the other parts just color in lightly with my color pencil again if I want to be a little more advanced I could go in and do kind of a little value scale press hard darker and go to lighter which is always really cool in our pictures and so you can kind of see how I'm doing that I'm putting from darker to lighter so, or I can just color it in normally, okay? It's totally up to you how you want to do it, just like so, okay? And let's, let's kind of go through one more maybe kind of cute design. Um, I've had some people, a lot of people love to put hearts in theirs or little, um, I'm going to do it a little different. Maybe I want to do a little leaf. So I might take my marker and I'm gonna just do some little leaves or they could look like feathers, but since they're kind of a green. Now I might do different colors. I might go in and color in the little leaves, not all the same. I might not just color a color on top. I might color the outside different than the inside. So, like that, and then I might say, you know what, I'm going to use a green crayon and just kind of color in the inside here, like so. Not too hard, because I want to still see that little line in there, because I want to see that detail of it this and then maybe when I'm done there I might choose and say you know what I think I'm gonna make it kind of bright now so I might take a yellow crayon and it's okay if I go over everything now because the yellow because it's lighter is not going to cover up our darker lines but you can see that makes a really cool design too and you know what I didn't have any ideas when I started this I'm just letting my imagination just kind of go and decide what I'm doing just as I look at the markers or the crayons and coming up with different ideas um, and so that's kind of the way I'm looking at this let's do one more so I might take, since I like black and brown, maybe on his ears, I'm going to do, I love this swirl, and also for doing designs, swirl's always kind of a fun thing. So I might do black swirls like so, like this. And then after I do the black, I might dig into my box and let's see if I can find one. I might decide to do kind of a, you know what, instead of a gray, when you don't have a gray and I don't see one, I might just take my black.
grand and very lightly. Just softly go in because I can still see my designs. And I'm going to just softly go in and get rid of a lot of the white. Okay, so I'm just very softly just kind of getting all that in there. And I'll do the bottom half of the ear here in a little bit. But you see how I want you to do it. I want you to come up, have some fun, do some cool designs. I'm going to leave the white part of the eye white, but I'm going to color the sky, the background, the ears, everything. So enjoy this. Finish your abstract dog. I'd love to see it. And remember, art is essential.